Welcome to today's episode of In the Archives. I'm Lisa Lobdell, and I'm the archivist here at the Great American Songbook Foundation. And I have with me today Marsha Jansen, who is celebrating 10 years at the foundation um, as a volunteer. And Marsha, a lot of people don't know this, but Marsha knows more about the sheet music in our collection than anyone else because she has inventoried about 40,000 pieces of it. And so today we're going to talk about some of the fun things that she has found over the years. Um, but first, we're just going to talk about um, how she came to the foundation and how she ended up working on sheet music. So I started in September of mm -hmm. 2011. And you said we have this wonderful collection of sheet music, <laughs> 34,000 pieces. <laughs> and uh, we'd like you to work on that. Uh -huh. And so I started working on the Grimes Collection, and I'm still working on the Grimes Collection, but I love it. it it's just, I mean, the story, there's just, it's the history mm -hmm. of the music. It's the history of um, our country. Mm -hmm. um, there's just so many elements to the sheet music. The covers are amazing. Mm -hmm. So much of the music is from Broadway film and Hollywood film. Mm -hmm. And um, so the sheet music covers have often the performers who were in the Broadway mm -hmm. musical or film. So yeah. for those of you who don't know who Bob Grimes was, um, he was an avid collector of sheet music and recordings and books um, related to the Great American Songbook. And he had a tiny little apartment in San Francisco, a little one-bedroom apartment. And uh, we moved into the Palladium, and a few months later, his collection arrived. And if you can imagine, a tiny one-bedroom apartment containing 11 pallets of material that weighed 18,000 pounds. And I remember it arrived that day and it was all lined up backstage um, at the Palladium. And I took a picture and I sent it to Bob and he called me and he said, Lisa, is all of that stuff mine? And I said, yeah, Bob, I, it was all yours. And he was like, oh my gosh, I can't imagine where I put it, which I was thinking at the very same time, I can't either. Um, Bob was widely known in the cabaret community because he would share his sheet music with performers and they would contact him with some obscure piece that they were looking for and um, he would go in, he had it all really well organized, and he would go in and pull the piece of sheet music out and his rule was he would loan it to a performer but they had to perform it and send it back. And Bob thought only one time did he get gypped by somebody. They kept his sheet music. Bob never married, but he had nieces and nephews. And he acquired all of the sheet music. Um, often he would purchase it. Um, he worked in a stationery store, so he wasn't a wealthy man. But this was his... Um, just his hobby, he loved it. And so he might purchase it in a shop. He would go to Goodwill stores and thrift stores and just any place that might have sheet music. And his nieces and nephews would spend the summers with him. So he, um, you know, they were um, middle school, teenage kids, and he would drag them along and he roped them in. And um, before Bob passed, they told me wonderful stories about how they would type up the index cards mm -hmm. that, um, Bob kept for each piece of sheet music, and uh, he would meticulously um, put the name of the movie and the production company and how long it was and any extra notes. And Bob was contacted several times by authors who were researching books um, for information because he had such a wealth of knowledge in those catalog, in the, in the card catalog. So, yes, and those entries were cross-referenced. So he would have a, a card for the Broadway musical listing the songs mm -hmm. that were included. And then he would have cards for those individual songs referencing them back mm -hmm. to um, the show. So besides Broadway and film musicals, 
we have the category of performers. Uh, every performer you can imagine. So this would be a piece of music that the performer sang. So it was, and he had a folder, so like Bing Crosby. He had sheet music for the music Bing Crosby sang over his career. Um, Tony Bennett, um, Nat King Cole, uh, on and on and on. Um, a box filled with uh, performers. Then, um, composers. Everyone was there. Gershwin, um, Berlin, um, Rogers and Hammerstein, Rogers and Hart. And it, um, it gets pretty detailed at times. Um, so he had a car category called geographic. Mm -hmm. Folders that contain songs about individual states, beginning with Alabama and going all the way through to Wyoming. Maybe not every state, but a lot of states. And right after um, the states mm -hmm. came the category of foreign. So songs related to foreign mm -hmm. countries. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wait, there's more. Products. Um, so there was a, a song, a Coke song in it, um, a song for Raisin Bran, Maiden oh Raisin Bran. Oh, speaking of categories, um, this, all of this sheet music comes from the category of Christmas, <laughs> an entire folder with all this wonderful Christmas music. Mm -hmm. So here we've got, oh, these are two interesting copies. Um, here's Frosty the Snowman, and you'll notice this does not look like the Frosty that we know from the cartoon feature. Um, this was the Frosty that existed before that was created. Um, but we also have, this is the Simplified Teaching Edition for second grade. Well, this was fun. This is a Christmas song, um, the music by Hoagy Carmichael, our own Hoagy Carmichael. Mm -hmm. and Inside is a little mailer with instructions on how to fold the sheet music and mail it to a friend as a Christmas gift. My Christmas song for you, it's all the good things people do. Santa Claus is coming to town. Winter Wonderland. I saw Mommy kissing Santa Claus. This was one of my favorite kid songs when I was a kid. Um, see that. Um, and then we have, uh, here we have, it's beginning to look like Christmas. This has words and music by Meredith Wilson. And we have Meredith Wilson's papers here. He wrote this song. Unfortunately, we don't have the music for this in his collection. We do, however, have the music for pine cones and holly berries, which includes it's beginning to look like Christmas. So, uh, so that's a fun piece. Well, Marcia uh, has been here 10 years, but she's not the only volunteer that we have working in the archives. Um, we have um, many others who uh, process arrangements, who uh, move boxes and build shelves, um, and help with inventorying a wide variety of collections from the sheet music like Marcia mentioned um, over to um, collections like Meredith Wilson's, which has a variety of papers and audiovisual materials. Um, they help with digitization projects, and um, we just wouldn't be able to accomplish everything that we do here without their help. And so we're uh, just incredibly grateful for all the work that they do uh, and the support that they give us here at the Great American Songbook Foundation.